After back-to-back -back wins, the Elite League leading Belfast Giants travelled to the Big Blue Tent to face third place Cardiff. The last time these two sides met was almost a month ago in back-to-back -back games in Belfast, where the Giants won the first game in overtime thanks to James Demaray. The next night, Cardiff won by the odd goal, Jake Morissette scoring the winner. As for the team news, Belfast hope to have Daryl Lloyd back on Saturday, whilst Cardiff will be without Brent Walton, who is expected to be out for a month with a lower body injury. Both teams' power plays are running at around 25% and they've looked sharp with the man advantage. Belfast scored two in the first period on Thursday against Edinburgh, while Cardiff scored twice on the power play last Saturday against Manchester. It's a second trip to Scotland in successive games for the stuttering Sheffield Steelers. They face a well-rested Brayhead team who last weekend hammered Coventry 6-0. That win ended a run of three successive defeats for Ryan Finity's side. And Saturday also sees a first return to Brayhead of former fan favourite Zach Fitzgerald. You know, Fitz, he's a great, he was a great teammate. He, he stood up for all of us. Um, um, when, when it comes, it would probably be more weird for him to come, you know, from... from my experience of going into uh, a building where I've played before, it's going to be weird for him because, you know, he's going to have the, the fans and stuff like that. It's just, he's going to have kind of a little bit of mixed emotions on, on because he was here last year and then uh, the building feels, you know, he's comfortable here and yeah. uh, uh, it's good. And uh, I'm sure he'll get a loud, uh, a loud, uh, loud cheer because uh, he did a lot of things for our team last year and he, you know, he, he wore, he put himself on the line and uh, a lot of guys know that and, uh, you know, they know how he is. There's only been one competitive game between these two sides so far this season. It went to overtime. Sheffield eventually taking victory with this Chris Lawrence goal. At the NIC, Nottingham play their final home game before heading on a long road trip. Nine of the next ten games will be away from home. And the Panthers are full of confidence after scoring four or more goals in each of their last three games. Panthers opponents Coventry have struggled massively so far this season and there's no doubt they'll be looking for more of this against the Panthers. Gardner Conference topping Dundee host Edinburgh on the back of an impressive night on home ice against Fife. Stars Lou Dickinson has scored five times in the last three games including two on Sunday night. Rounding out the night is another all Gardner Conference matchup. Fife have been strong on home ice and have won four of their last five, including an impressive victory over Brayhead. Manchester, meanwhile, despite back to back defeats last weekend, have been better, and head coach Omar Pasha will take great heart from the way his side played against Cardiff and Belfast. Eventually, they lost on Sunday to the Giants on the 18th shot of the penalty shootout.